Novel Crafter, Getting Started. Recorded in April 2024. This tutorial is intended for authors who are curious about using AI, but who are not tech savvy. The first thing you probably wonder is if AI is worth your time at all? Let's answer some questions that you might be asking yourself. 1. Can AI write a bestseller novel by itself? No. 2. Will AI save me time when I write a novel? No. It will probably take as much time to write a novel with AI as without. 3. Will AI make it easier for me to write a novel? Yes. AI will help you with tasks that normally gets you into writer's block, and it will help you with tedious tasks. 4. Will I still need to learn the writing craft? Yes. The writing craft is even more important with AI than without, because you need to be able to recognize good writing from bad, when working with AI. 5. Is it easy to learn how to use AI? No. 6. Will I be able to write better novels with AI? Yes. 7. Will AI make me a better writer? Yes, it will make you aware of aspects and possibilities that you didn't notice before. 8. Will AI make authors obsolete? No. I could make a long tutorial about this question alone, but I want to spare you long arguments. So I'm just giving you the short answer which is no, AI will not make authors obsolete. Let's now look at the plan for this tutorial. It will be done in two steps. In step one we will put AI for authors in context. You will learn needed concepts. Like AI model. Open. Router. API key. Claude 3 sonnet. And similar. It is important that you know these concepts before you start working with AI. Otherwise you will be lost in hyperspace, and you will not be able to find your way around. In step 2, we will go to a browser and sign up to Novel Crafter and test that it works. In later tutorials we will start using Novel Crafter. Let's begin with the context. When writing a novel, traditionally you have an author who writes the whole novel. A new thing appeared in 2023, and that was that the authors could get help of AI writing assistance. Now there are several AI writing assistants on the market. Here are three of them, Pseudo Write, Novel Crafter, and Novel AI. There are of course many others. We are going to look at Novel Crafter, because in my opinion it is the best one right now. But things change fast in AI world and in a not too distant future, maybe some other writing assistant might be better. When you sign up to Novel Crafter, you also have to sign up to another tool called Open Router. What Open Router does, is that it connects Novel Crafter to a lot of AI models, actually, more than 100 of them. AI models or AI programs that do the actual AI work. Think of AI models as AI brains. Each AI model works differently. Some are good for writing fiction, others for non-fiction, others for interactive chat, some for finding facts, and some are general purpose. You as an author works with Novel Crafter, which you can think of as your AI writing assistant. And you want to use the power of AI brains. The thing that connects Novel Crafter with AI models is Open Router. So you can think of Open Router as an in-between, that lets Novel Crafter hook up to AI models. Let's look at some AI models. Some of the models are expensive, like GPT-4 Turbo, and Claude 3 Sonnet. Other are cheap like Claude 3 Haiku, Aeroboros, and Mistral Tiny. And some, are free, like Toppy, Mythimist, and OpenChat. Even though you can access over 100 models, you will only use few of them. Here are the three models that I use. For actual writing I use Claude 3 Sonnet. For analyses of the whole novel, I use Claude 3 Haiku. For experimenting when I have no credits on Open Router, I use Toppy. The cost for using models is expressed in dollars for million tokens. Claude 3 Sonnet costs about $15 for million tokens, while Claude 3 Haiku costs about $1 for million tokens. Now it is important to remember that what is considered a token varies wildly from model to model. As a rule of thumb one token is quarter of a word. So 1 million tokens corresponds to 250,000 words. Let's now look at the sign up process. To sign up to Open Router, you need an email address. When you enter your email address, the Open Router will send you a link to your email box. When you click on that link, you will get an Open Router account. Now you will be able to do two things. One is to generate an API key. The second is that you will be able to add credits to Open Router. You do not need to add any credits if you will only work with free AI models. But if you want to use non-free models like Sonnet and Haiku, then you will need credits. Start with $5, it will take you a long way. To sign up to Novel Crafter, you need an email address. 
When you enter your email address, the Novel Crafter will send you a code to your email box, and show a dialog box where you can enter that code. After entering the code you will get a Novel Crafter account. Now that you have both Novel Crafter account and Open Router account, you need to connect them. You do that using the API key that you created earlier. So think of the API key as the thing that enables your Novel Crafter account to speak to your Open Router account. Without the API key, that connection would not be possible. That's everything you need to know about the context. Let's now go to a browser and show the process hands-on. We are inside a browser. Let's prepare by opening three tabs. The first will be Open Router, which is at openrouter.ai. The second is Novel Crafter, which is at novelcrafter.com. And the third is your email account. Let's first go to Open Router and sign up there. As you probably know, websites continuously change their web interface, so the web page that you will encounter will probably look different from the one I have here. Look in the upper right hand corner. If you have not signed up yet, there will probably be a button called Sign In. Click on that button. Then click on the Sign Up button. Enter your email address. And choose a password. Click on Continue. An alert box appears asking us to verify our email. So go to your email box. And click on the button, Sign Up Open, Router. And now we have an open router account, and we can create an API key. Observe that the Sign In button has been replaced with the circle. If you hover over the circle, you will notice, a menu item called Keys. Choose that item. Now click on the Create Key button. Give it a name. Click Create. Copy this key, and paste it somewhere, where you can keep it safe. Close. To add credits click on Credits. Click on Manage Credits. Now you can add credits with your credit card. We will not do this because we will use free models. And for that we do not need credits. However later when you want to use non-free models, you will have to return here and add credits. For now close. We are done with Open, Router. Now let's go to Novel Crafter and sign up there. This is what the interface looks. Let's click on Start Writing. Enter your email address. Choose a password and then click on Continue. Now we have to enter a code that Novel Crafter has sent to our email box. So go to your email and read that code. and go back and enter it. And now we have Novel Crafter account. Now you have to read and answer some questions. Okay, got it. I want to explore for now. I want to start fresh. A window appears where you can enter the title of your book. Magic Blood. and the author's name. Bob Uland. Click on Create Novel. A new window appears. Now identify the setting button. It might be somewhere on the page, or as a menu under your settings gear. Open Settings. Find Open, Router. Click on the Add button. You can see here that right now we have no models. Then you need to enter your API key, that you've saved earlier. Now close.
tests and then open up the settings again. Now you see that Open Router has many models, which is how we know that we have connected to Open Router. Let's close. How do we test that everything works? We can do it using chat. Find the chat button. In my case I have it under the plan, but in your case it might be somewhere else. As you can see there is a button called Select AI. Click on it. Hover over General Purpose. As you can see there are a lot of models to choose from. If we had added some credits to our open router, we could have selected any of them. But since we did not do that, we can only choose. Toppy, which is the only free one here. Let's enter the following prompt. Generate five male names for a hero in a fantasy novel. Click on send. Here we have our five names, which proves that it works. Let's now leave the browser and summarize. Summary. Here we have the author who wants to use the AI models. To do that, she has to sign up to both Novel Crafter and Open Router. When signing up to Novel Crafter, you get the 14 days free trial. And then you have to pay $14 a month. For Open Router you can start by adding $5 worth of credit. And the Open Router will take about 10% of that, and the rest can be used for accessing the AI models. And as I said before, different models charge differently. For example Claude 3 Sonnet, takes $15 per million tokens. Claude 3 Haiku, charges $1 per million tokens, and Toppy, is free. You might want start with Toppy, and not use any credits at all in Open Router. So everything will be free, while you test out. However, sooner or later you will want to keep what you have written. And then you will have to pay the $14 per month to Novel Crafter. And you will also want to use non-free models, to write your text. And in that case you have to add credits to the open, router. So, in summary if you only want to experiment, you can do it for free. However, you will be very limited and as a professional, you will need to use good AI models which will cost. As a professional user you should calculate that your total cost will be about $30 per month. $14 per month for novel crafter, and about the same amount for open, router. If you're a professional writer, the $30 will seem affordable. But if you are a hacker, trying out multiple technologies at the same time. You might not want to add an additional monthly cost. In that case, keep on experimenting for free. And decide later how you want to proceed. We have reached the end. Thank you for watching.